My name is Steve. Welcome back to my shop. Let me bring you in a little closer and I'll show you what I'm doing. I got some paper spacers for the uh, side of the grinding wheel. This grinding wheel didn't come with the uh, the paper on it. And so I'm, I'm making some up. That side is okay. But when I'm going to install it, I don't like to crush the grinding wheel against the bare metal. So let me show you what I'm doing. I have this unit here. It's called the Lifetime Carbide Punch and Die Set. It's actually pretty nice. The base of it is a tool steel. The punches are made out of solid carbide. You just hit it with a hammer. It punches a perfect hole in the piece of uh, paper. I'm using uh, the manila card files, uh, the card folder, uh, file folders. Uh, it's a good thickness material for what I want to do. And I'm sliding it over my dresser. And then just taking the, I'm using this, my plastic hammer because I don't want to roll the edge on my new dresser. But I'm just tapping it around like you would make a, a gasket. Going around the edges. Perfect. I'll take you over to the vise and we'll mount the grinding wheel. This is the crush dresser that I just finished making. I let it sit overnight. The uh, green Loctite is all set up. Everything's nice and tight. The bearings just are smooth as silk. Now let's go over and put the stone on. When I rebuilt my Wilton Vice, I put aluminum jaws in it. It was perfect for this. I can tighten it right up. If you remember when I made, if you watched the earlier videos, when I machined this, I have about a 20 thousandths recess. So it's just the outside edge, about quarter, five sixteenths of an inch, that's actually going to make contact with the stone. I'll put my fiber disc on there. Here's the stone. This is a replacement stone for an, a unit called a brick dresser and that actually is ideal for doing the job that I built this for but it's not in the budget right now so hopefully someday I'll either find one or build one. I have a washer this is actually one that I've had for some time. I, I was probably off of one of my old table saws. And there again it has the recess, so I'm just putting pressure on the outside edge of the washer. And there's already the paper on this stone. got to clamp the body of this so that I can tighten up the nut. Okay, that should do it. Now 
I'll take you back over to the bench and show you how I'm going to mount this. I'm going to mount the dresser in my grinding vise. The grinding vise has a V in it so that it'll hold it. I'm going to put it up as close as I dare and leave a little bit of clearance. There it goes. So I have clearance underneath and now I'll be able to mount my grinding vise on the mag chuck on the grinder. So let's go over and mount it on the grinder. I mounted the diamond wheel on the grinder and I put my dial test indicator on the mag chuck I'm using a piece of that card stock to protect the uh, stylus on the dial indicator from the diamond wheel and this is a little difficult to do because the belt wants to okay Running at zero. Every time I touch this piece of paper, it changes the adjustment. Okay, it went up to one, down to four. Oops, everything's moving again. There it goes. So it looks like the best that I can tell on my averages here, I'm running between three and four thousandths out around. Which is not terrible because there's a little bit of play on the hub. So now I'm going to uh, mount the dresser on the chuck. I've been experimenting with this a little bit and I found that I can control the speed of it pretty good just by touching the roller with with my glove. So. Uh, I use the stone in this configuration to true up the wheel and I can use this handheld to just dress the wheel once it's been trued up I can use it to dress it to expose the uh, the diamond really tears the wheel up but it uh, it's dressed nice and flat 
and you'll see where I'm, I put it on my dial indicator that it is trued it up. Now what I'll do is use my soft aluminum oxide white disc to uh, to continue to dress it and do a, a finer dress on it. mount my dial indicator back on here and see if I made any improvement. I got rid of the uh, the run out on it. It's running. It's true as as close as I can measure it. Now that I've got the diamond wheel dress, it's time to start grinding some precision ground stones. I haven't been real thrilled with the way that some of the other machinists have been holding down their stones. I have no doubt that it works just fine. But I had a thought and I came up with an idea. I would put them in a pair of my parallel clamps and when I set that down on the mag base I turn it on the clamps will go right down on the mag base and stone can't go anywhere. So here is my setup on the mag base. Now this particular stone was absolutely flat. I checked it first so I didn't have to shim it. Now I take and tighten up the mag base and it can't go anywhere. I'm ready to grind. In order to keep the dust down, I am grinding them wet. Tucking down, and I'm going to go through it. And my offset is 250 thousandths, which is the width of the wheel. Grind. I'm going to go another 2,000 
and I'm going to do 50,000 soft sets. happy with the finish on that. I'll turn it over and grind the other side. flatten the other side and so it's perfectly flat I don't have to shim this now I'll take and uh, turn on the chuck I took and just scribbled a pencil line on the stones so that I can see where I've cut to make sure I get the whole thing now what I'm gonna do is take and touch down on it And just take a skim pass after I touch down and then I'll do my roughing pass and we'll see how we how we make out so it's going to get noisy I've already run the grinder for about five minutes to warm up the spindle warm up the belt that it seems to go a long ways to uh, giving me a smoother finish and I'm going to be setting my mist cool on. It keeps the dust down. So be prepared to get noisy.
I'm setting up to grind the edges of the stones now. I've got my grinding vise on. I squared that up with a square and I put two parallels in to support the ends of the stones. And they're at a slight angle so it crosses multiple segments of the magnet. So that should hold it tighter. I'm going to uh, turn the magnet on and that will hold them in place. Snug up the vise. Now I can tell just by feeling it that this edge is high so I'm going to touch off on that edge and uh, start working it down. I'm going to touch off on that corner because I'm pretty sure that that's the high spot. side is done, I'll flip it over and do the other side. I've got the stones all completely <clears throat> ground. And I'm just going to take a diamond lap and just break the edges on them. They have pretty sharp edges and that'll help to prevent them from chipping.
take note of the how smooth the sound of these stones when you grind them when you face them together as compared to an unground set big difference and you can see that these aren't even hitting they've got a hollow spot in the center add a check for flatness um, these are pivoting at approximately a third off of each end I put them Well, that pretty well wraps up this video. I want a special thank you to Vernon, the Mature Patriot. Uh, that's He goes by his YouTube name as Mature Patriot, who provided the stones to do the first experimental grinds. And I apologize to him for taking so long to do it, but I wanted to do it right the first time. Yes, it is a little bit of experiment, but I wanted to do everything I could do to make the first time correct. And so I'm very pleased with the way they turned out. They are so flat that you can actually feel they almost ring together. And you can you, you can feel the the lift on it when you put them together. And, and try and lift them to separate them. So Vern actually sent me three sets of stones. Uh, he sent them to me to do whatever I wanted with them. So this set is going to be sent back to him so that he'll have a set all ground up and ready to go. I want to thank all of my subscribers and all of my new subscribers had quite a few new subscribers over the past month and I want to thank you thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video